If you watch my vlogs, then you know the morning routine drill. However, they were out of my Coconut Cult probiotic yogurt, so I am back on Bio K until they restock. And I actually really do love Bio K. It's a great vegan probiotic. Also, if I sound a little nasally, it is because I'm getting over a little bit of a cold. I'm thankfully feeling way better today. Good morning. It is such an amazing day out. It is finally feeling like spring. I have the whole day to myself and I thought we would do a little self-care Saturday. I feel like I'm doing things a little bit backwards this morning, like compared to how I usually do my morning routine. But when I looked out my window today and saw the sun shining and the blue skies, I just felt like I needed to get out ASAP. And I'm so glad I did because that was so nice. It finally feels like spring. The gray clouds are clearing. The sun is coming out. Life is being reborn. It just feels so good outside. I, like I mentioned, had a cold this week, which was so frustrating. There's nothing worse than just like feeling off in your body. So I took basically the whole week off from workouts. I did go to yoga on Monday, but I just didn't feel like myself all week. I didn't feel majorly sick, but I just felt run down and tired and just kind of struggled through the week. But I have this weekend all to myself. My boyfriend, Archie, is out of town. So I have the weekend to myself. He's moving in in two weeks. So I'm just really soaking up this extra me time that I have in my space. And after having just like such a rough off week, I really wanted to have a chill self-care day today. Do whatever feels good to me. Just kind of go with the flow. Don't have to stick to my routine. Just do things that are going to make me feel good. I did kind of start the self-care yesterday. I didn't feel like vlogging, but I did film a little bit. I finally used that lash lift kit that I shared in the last vlog. I didn't want to vlog the entire thing because I'd never done it before and I didn't really know what I was doing with it. So I figure I ought to do it myself first and then the next time I do it I can properly vlog it for you but it actually worked really well I think we're gonna get really up close and personal here <laughs> I'm not sure how well you can see, but I do not have any mascara on and I did not curl my lashes. This side definitely came out better than this side, but I like started on my left eye first, which is why I think it didn't come out as good as my right eye, but this is why I wanted to do it once myself before I vlogged and shared it with you because I have a good little system down. I think that it is really good though. I love not having to wear mascara and I also did tint my lashes after. And I don't think that I would really suggest this to people because it could be pretty dangerous but I did use my beard dyeing kit that I used to dye my brows on my lashes I was very very careful and as I mentioned in my last vlog I feel really comfortable doing at home beauty things like this so I wouldn't suggest it to everyone you can definitely go out and get this kind of stuff done by a professional it's probably ideal but I'm a little bit of a DIY girl and as I said I've been tinting my own brows at home for a really long time so I felt pretty comfortable doing my own lashes and they came out great now I want to do a little bit of journaling and reflecting on the week and kind of just get my thoughts on paper. I love journaling. If you're new to journaling, I have a podcast episode on my podcast, the Yoga Inspired Life podcast it's called Journaling 101. I share some tips and tricks for how to get started as well as my favorite ways to journal. Journaling is so therapeutic for me. I've been cleaning out my apartment to prepare for Archie to move in and I found all of my old journals and it's just really cool to look back on my thoughts throughout my life. I've been journaling for as long as I can remember and I keep all of my journals and it's just a nice way to gain perspective and see your growth and it's also like I said super therapeutic for me to just get things out of my head and on to paper. So that is the next order of business. Thank you. 
This is a PSA if you live in New York City. Currently, champagne mangoes are a dollar at Whole Foods and they are so delicious. I typically don't get these kinds of mangoes, but I got one last week and they were so good. I went back and got a few more. These are so freaking good that I don't let anything go to waste. I like eat the rest of the mango off the seed. <laughs> They're just like such a good deal because normally mangoes here, I think in California too, are nearly $4 a mango, which is insane. Really in the mood to do a little bit of vision boarding while I have my mango this morning. So that is the vibe. Doing a little 2024 inspo board. It is time to go down to the gym and get a little workout in. I'm gonna bring my ankle weights and maybe my sliders. And I think that'll do it. Honestly, I'm a little sniffly still, but I feel so much better. Movement is medicine. Hi, it's like many hours later now. Between you and I, the porter in my building had to come up and replace the filter in my AC and heating unit and also needed to replace the bathtub stopper in my bathtub, very random. But he was in here for a little bit and it was like kind of awkward for me to film while he was in here. I didn't want to be like talking to myself, you know? Well, I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to you. But in the moment, I'm basically talking to myself because I'm talking to a camera, you know, weird vlogger things. Anyway, I got a little embarrassed and just had my lunch quietly and worked on the computer while he was here. So sorry, I didn't vlog my lunch. It actually wasn't that exciting anyway. It was just leftover veggie stir fry. So yeah, now that we're all up to speed, I actually do want another snack right now. And I got some lemon and garlic hummus from Ithaca. And I want to do that with some pretzels, even though I have dinner plans in like two hours. Oh no, it's not peeling properly. So I don't want to like, stuff myself too much before dinner because I want an appetite, but I feel like I need a little bit of a snack. This is like one of my favorite snacks, pretzels and hummus. I'm a big pretzel girl. I also feel like no self-care day is complete without some actual like cliche self-care, like beauty self-care. So I want to show you some of the beauty things I've been doing at home that have been helping me feel good and take care of my body and my skin and just helping me romanticize my life on a daily basis. Some of these things I don't do every single day, but I've been trying to do them consistently throughout the week, if not every day. Like I typically will do my LED mask every day. I didn't do that this morning because I was in such a rush to get outside and get in the sun, but I pretty much do that like six days a week and I'll probably do that tonight before bed. But a couple of the other things I do every other day or at least a couple times a week. I okay, stopped myself from eating the entire bag of pretzels. Taking out a handful. That's my little ration that I will be eating. I honestly just don't want to be too full for dinner and I feel like hummus really fills me up. One of the things that I don't do as often as I would like, but I still do do it at least once a week is dry brush. So that. Do a little shower. I'm not gonna wash my hair because I just washed it yesterday. 
but I will be moisturizing. I usually like to use my Osea body oil, but since I'm going out to dinner, I think I'm gonna use the Undaria Collagen Body Lotion after my shower. And I'm gonna use this Salt and Stone Body Wash. I'm obsessed with this scent. It's Santal and Vetiver. It smells incredible, so that my little loofah and I'm just gonna wash my face with the ocean cleanser from Osea. However, before all of that, I'm going to dry brush. I got my dry brush from Osea. I love it. I'm not gonna show you because it is a nude activity and that would not be appropriate for obvious reasons. But I start at my feet and I brush in upward strokes all the way up to my heart on both legs. I start on the left and then the right. Then once I get up to my heart, I do my arms. So from my fingertips all the way to my heart, again, short strokes oh it feels so good on the skin and then i will get in the shower and shower Other thing that I recently got that I've been really enjoying, although I feel like it's way too early for me to tell you whether or not it actually works, is a new face mini. It's essentially like a workout for your face. It's a microcurrent that helps tighten the face, tighten the muscles in the face, which kind of gives you a lifted sculpted look. They actually have an app where you can look at the different workouts. I've been focusing on like neck and jawline. I've only been using it for the last week. So again, I feel like it's way too early for me to tell you whether or not it works. But the one that I got came with this aqua gel activator, which is like the conductor serum for it. And I'm just gonna do a quick one right now because I need to get ready for dinner soon. But I've been doing my LED mask in the morning and this at night, although I'm doing everything backwards today. <laughs> not on a regular schedule today, but that's okay because it's a self-care day. If you want like a more comprehensive tutorial, I would suggest Googling or again, if you get it, it comes with that app or I can also do it in a future video if you're interested, but I'm just doing a little hybrid treatment. So I start at the center of my jaw, slowly pull it up until it beeps and then you repeat that three times. You just wanna pull it really slowly. The little vibrating noise that it makes is so calming. <laughs> I like to use this time to just like focus on my breath and relax. And it almost becomes like a meditative activity for me. And I do wipe off the gel after just because my skin is really sensitive. I don't know if it would break me out or not, but I don't like to take any chances. <laughs> and I've just been using it on the first setting, but there are three strength settings. I think as I continue to use it, maybe I'll use it on a stronger setting, but for now, just using that first setting. Just doing my light everyday makeup routine, which I just shared in my last vlog. So if you missed that, go back and watch that. But you know what I was just thinking? I think it's important to mention that self-care is really any activity that makes you feel good and like you're taking care of yourself. Self-care can be a new face device or it can be journaling or it can be going out to dinner with your girlfriends like I'm doing later or it can be going on a long walk by yourself or working out or cooking or cleaning or really, again, anything that helps you feel good and helps you feel like you're taking care of yourself. That is the point of self-care. And for me, what helps me feel taken care of and like I'm taking care of myself changes based on how I'm feeling. Today, I just picked the things that would help me feel good. But another day, maybe self-care is Honestly, like laying on the couch and reading all day or watching a couple of shows on TV or hanging out with my friends all day or not seeing anyone at all all day. Your self-care doesn't need to look like my self-care. Self-care also doesn't need to be expensive. You don't need to buy anything for self-care. To be honest with you, like this morning, that long walk out in the sun with my dog, listening to a podcast, truly felt like the ultimate self-care. Like that is just what felt good to me. Just being outside didn't cost me a thing, although I did treat myself to a coffee, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Self-care doesn't need to involve any expensive products or anything like that, unless you want it to. Yeah, that's my little spiel for today. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> As for this evening, I'm going out to dinner with my girlfriends, Eugen and Veronica. And we're going to one of my favorite restaurants in Brooklyn called Rule of Thirds. They have the most delicious food there and I'm just really looking forward to catching up with my girlfriends, which again is another form of self-care for me, especially because Eugen and her husband just bought a new place a couple miles away. She currently lives in my building, so does Veronica. 
and we're not going to be neighbors anymore. We're still going to live in close proximity, but I'm going to miss living in the same building. Really excited for her and Jay, her husband. Such an accomplishment to be homeowners. Oh, also, you know what? I really need to give you a book update. Like really, really, really need to give you a book update. But I'll do that later after dinner. Thinking for my outfit, I'm gonna wear these black boots from Steve Madden. And I think that it is actually gonna be warm enough to wear my long denim skirt. Maybe I'll just do like a black sweater, keep it semi-simple. Yes to this. I think I'm gonna just toss my little black sweater over top. Probably still wear a coat just because it's not quite warm enough. Like tuck in the front and add my little black and gold belt. Faux leather trench over top. Trying to give you like a full look at the fit, but it's kind of hard. <laughs> also, I just need to say this for myself and for you. I feel like sometimes I get caught in this mindset and tell myself that I don't have time for self-care and that everything else is more important. And I totally understand we all have responsibilities and things that we need to get done. Some of you are mothers that watch this channel and some of you work full time, but I think no matter what stage of life you're in or what season of life you're in, we all have the ability to create time to take care of ourselves. And I don't even think you need to devote an entire day to self-care if you don't have the luxury to be able to do so, but it's just about being intentional with taking time on a regular basis to take care of yourself, to do little things here and there that help you feel like you're taking care of yourself because you cannot pour from an empty cup. Trust me, I have tried many times in my life <laughs> to burn myself out, drain myself of all my energy and continue to try to show up and give and give and give and I have nothing left to give and it never works. And I'm sure that some of you can relate to that too. And it's just like about reminding ourselves that the better that we take care of ourselves, the better we can take care of everybody else in our life. This is why self-care is so important. Okay, here is a look at the full fit. Pretty simple, but I am really into it. Okay. Let's go meet with the girls. Girls night, and wouldn't you know it, we're all unintentionally matching. These two more than me. With the brown and the black leather. <laughs> no, we did not plan this. Although I feel like I need to add some brown. Feeling a little left out. <laughs> Let's go, I'm hungry. You guys both did peace signs. <laughs> Cheers, gorgeous girl. Maybe we'll see you more after you move, because that sometimes happens. I think that happens. Yeah. Well, you know what sake katsu is? No. It's when they're making the sake, that they have the rice with the koji and the yeast, and that's why they brought stain of white. Yeah, yeah. Because it's basically fermented rice. Beautiful. So we use it for the broth. We have Thank different you. kind of mushrooms. We have carrots, beans. Actually, I'm overselling it. It's just dropping this green bowl of rice that I'm gonna drop here. I'm gonna let it take a little bit of the broth. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, that smells so good, you guys. And then I'm gonna smash it. Wait, you're moving next week, right? Next week. Last, last, this is probably our last day walking home. Walking to the same home. Walking to the same home. <laughs> Although you're moving like 15 minutes away. I don't know why we're acting like you're moving to another state. Okay, let's make it dramatic. We got ice cream. Cheers. We all got the same one. Yes, I immediately changed into sweatpants <laughs> and my boyfriend's sweatshirt to take Bali out. That is how quickly we go from regular clothing to comfy clothes. Time to wash my face, get in bed and read my book, which I'm so excited to read. Sorry, you're like leaned down on my sink. Also, I have to tell you about The Housemaid's Secret. It is so good. I finished it, finally. I got the book back from my boyfriend's house and I finished it and it was seriously so good. I'm just removing my makeup with this Elemis cleansing balm. 
And then I'm going to double cleanse with Osea Ocean Cleanser and Panoxyl. Housemaid's Secret, so so, so good. I cannot recommend it enough. Loved the housemaid and the housemaid secret so much that before I was even finished with the second book, I pre-ordered the third book in the housemaid series. It is seriously so good. Oh my gosh. Absolutely obsessed. I actually just ordered another book by the same author and hopefully that'll come soon because I'm just obsessed with her writing style. I am truly doing all of my routines backwards today. <laughs> this is usually the first thing I do in the morning and today it's the last thing, but you know what? We're going with the flow. That was the perfect self-care day. I'm now in bed, I'm gonna read my book. I'm reading None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell. I am only 100 pages in, so it's still early, but so far I'm enjoying it. I'm not quite hooked yet. You know, when you get like hooked in a book, I'm not quite hooked just yet, but I'm intrigued enough that I'm excited to read, so. We're gonna count that as a win. And I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Make sure you're subscribed if you're new and I will catch you in my next video. Good night.